Hello and welcome to your channel AWS Cloud Bytes. I'm your host Bahesh Kumar. Today we are going to talk about AWS Chalice Framework and see how it can be used to build serverless applications in Python. We're going to cover how to create Python project using Chalice Framework, how we are going to configure, how we are going to build, deploy a Chalice project, test the APIs built by Chalice, test any DynamoDB stream built by Chalice and delete the project. It's lab time. Let's begin. Okay, let's talk about Chalice. What is Chalice? If you look at this GitHub repo, you'll find Chalice as a project under AWS. And if you read through this readme file, you'll find that Chalice is a framework for writing serverless applications in Python. It is very easy to use Chalice. We are going to run through Chalice and many more Chalice related features, maybe in a subsequent video, but this is how you can use Chalice. So you can see a certain code snippets over here you can see you import a chalice and then you create an application and you can build a route using annotating app.route similarly you have events that you can listen to like in this case it is listening to an s3 bucket event and you'll have a sqs message coming in you can write code for sqs queues how do you quickly start on chalice first of all you need to have a python installed we are going to create a virtual environment which i already have in my machine i will show you that let me clear it out and then if i do an ls i already have a virtual environment created so you have this virtual environment and then you do this activate until you do the activate chalice uh, even though it is installed until you are in a virtual environment you won't see chalice so if i write chalice over here it says it is not available this command is not available so what i can do is i can just do virtual environment VNV. and you can see the prompt has changed to virtual environment and if I write chalice chalice over here you can see all the options I already have a project called hello world but I'm gonna create a chalice project along with you so in order to create a chalice project you can say chalice new project I can say project name greetings and you can see there is another folder so let me open PyCharm. I'm using PyCharm as an ID. I have uh, greetings already opened. I'm trusting the project, opening in a new window. I'm using tree as interpreter. So as soon as it loads, it shows me the virtual environment. It gives me a config file. It's a git ignore file, things that you don't want to check in. Okay and if you look at the file it is the application file for chalice this is the starting file and you'll have hello world application running over here if i go to terminal and if i say chalice package it doesn't know anything about chalice oh i'm in greetings Now it is recognizing Chalice and I will say Chalice package. It wants me to define a path. So you can see there is a deployment folder that was created, a zip was created. This is all local, there is nothing deployed. In order to do a deployment, you need to go and configure your AWS CLI, which means you have to set up AWS configure and then provide the access key and secret which I already have done so it is all configured for my machine now if I say chalice deploy before I do a deploy let me show you how AWS looks I'll go to lambda I have two lambdas right now Oh, basically three lambdas one for stream also so three lambdas right now and there is no lambda for greetings if you look at the application name it's going to be greetings and i need to install this package let the id configure that package this requirement.txt will need a chalice what version of chalice i'm using is going to be 
updated we need to do that update i can show you how you can do that update in this i have this chalice 1.27.3 but if you really want to look at how you can do an update i can show you in the readme that i have added so if you really want to add update requirement.txt it's very similar to packages.json. if you need to add something specific you can just run pip freeze so if i run pip freeze i will i'll see all the packages that are available and what all packages i need for this deployment to run in aws or any other environment where the distribution is installed or the distribution is sent for execution so in this case i'm saying pip freeze get me a specific package and write it to requirement text if i want all of it i can just say this greater than sign and to the requirement text so let's go over here i can just say pip freeze i forgot crap okay missed grep so pip freeze pipe sign taking the output of freeze finding chalice out of it and writing it to requirements txt if i really want to write something like i want read care so i can put to such thing i can do read care and that will add up i don't need read care so i'm gonna remove it from here and that's how you can update your requirement txt now your application is all ready to be deployed this is just a vanilla application i can just do chalice deploy and it should package and deploy in aws it is connected to aws using the cli which we configured earlier i have done that configuration you can just run aws configure and set up your um, aws cli by providing a secret key and access key i'm not sharing that over here so you can see it is creating a package it created an im role called greeting star dash dev it created a lambda greetings dash dev and then you have an api gateway and if i click on this you should see hello world which is the route main route that we created this is the route that we created if i create something like um, today and then return day you can say tuesday or whatever day so i updated my api added a new route and i can just do a deploy it will know that i have updated it maintains a stack so it creates a deployment but it is not going to create all this end to end it's just gonna add another endpoint in the api gateway to support this today endpoint it's gonna update the lambda it's gonna update the policy but it's not going to delete and recreate everything until there is a significant change that requires a deletion so let it update and then we can execute this endpoint and see how it works so the update happened if i click on this it will show me hello world which is the index route and then if i say today it should give me uh, i found the issue i didn't rename this method so it's clashing let me redeploy both methods were same name that's why it was an issue even though the route was different so let it deploy it again and we can refresh the endpoint today you can see it keeps on creating deployments so you have all these zips generated as part of each deployment and once you have deployed you can also see there is a deployed folder which is having the dev json file which is primarily your stage that you have deployed on if you look at the config you have stages you have dev json generated just because of this stage an api is showing up rather than dev because it is saying api if i change it to dev it will be slash dev so let's click on this again and this is regular route main route and this is your today route okay i'm gonna close these two and I'm going to switch 
to AWS to show what has changed based on the deployment. So you can see that as a deployment that happened, you have greetings dash dev. And if you go to um, API gateway, I can open it in a new tab. You have an API gateway, um, additional API in API gateway called greetings. Hello world was deployed earlier. Uh, this is greetings. And you can see for get you have today and you have this greetings dev lambda. Um, all this is created by your single push to chalice. So you have greetings dash dev here. One thing to note is that when you're working with chalice, if you have layers, so if you have multiple lambdas that you're deploying and both of them have um, common code, you can actually build layers by just specifying a configuration setting layers true. So I can look at chalice configuration. Uh, packaging so if you look at this um, I'll come to this particular folder which is very important chalice lib um, automatic lambda layers is one of the features of chalice you can see that if you enable that um, flag automatic layers true if you have two lambdas that have a significant uh, amount of code that has dependency code and is common it will automatically create layers and both the lambdas will be using that layer um, this is an example you can see there is a deployment and there's another deployment automatic layers is false in case you enable automatic layers to be true it creates a layer package and then their own deployments are pretty small because they are both of them are using the same layer so that is it about basics of chalice we'll dig a little bit deeper today um, to evaluate a little bit more about chalice as a framework and i'm gonna switch to another application that i created earlier this application will be available in the description um, a github link of this code is available so if you look at the readme readme has information how to build a chalice project and how to run it locally without even deploying so i can just say if i want to run it over here i can just say chalice run local and without an auto reload basically i can see hello world and if i have any other path i can do that too so this is running locally it is not even deployed let me break out uh chalice deploys to deploy chalice delete okay so before i go um in this project the greetings part the greetings project that we built i will just many times we have run chalice deploy let me delete it so one word one command that you provide and if you look at your aws this greetings dev is no more available so it will give you a list of lambdas that are available there is no more greetings if you look at the api gateway if you look at the apis there is no more API gateway. So things that Chalice created was there was an API gateway and behind an API gateway you were having a lambda. And you can have many lambdas, you can have tables. Basically Chalice allows you to um, do cloud formation as well as uh, Terraform. If I search for cloud formation, you can see cloud formation support. You have other Terraform support. Overall CICD support is there so um this dev project chalice greetings dev is deleted now we'll go to the other one which is hello world that i created earlier so we saw how to deploy we saw how to delete and uh, there is some documentation url in this as well as uh, some sample code so let's look at it what is different in this project first thing to notice is configuration 
one thing you would note is by default chalice is not going to create these resources within the lambdas won't be created within the preview of your vpc which means if you don't provide these two things subnet id and the security group your lambda will not be able to interact with resources um, that are not available outside your vpc so anything that is uh, specific to your vpc is not accessible until you provide this the greeting project that we did earlier those lambda would have been created outside vpc there is no vpc configuration for those so before going to the details of aws um, changes that i have done let's look at configuration and additional things that i have changed for this particular project first thing to notice is that i have renamed it to be a dev so you will find slash dev rather than slash api or you can rename anything autogen policy is true which means uh, it will automatically generate policy it can be made false and you can have your own policy file like i am having a sample im policy file called policy underscore dev over here which is saying give me cloudwatch logs um read write access um network interface uh, then you have ec2 these are primarily to attaching to the network because we are using subnet ids it needs to attach to the network so those uh, roles are required then you have done on a db stream this is because we are um, listening to a stream and i will show you a demo on that the resources are start here but you can trim down to whatever resource should be able to trigger it looking at json again Anything that we create is going to have a uh, set of environment variables if you want. Um, it, my deployment will have uh, created by saying AWS Cloud Bytes. Application name is Hello World, and that is it. There are more things that you can add. You can listen um, to some uh, YouTube broadcast from Chalice, or you can even read through Chalice framework. The deployments, I did some deployments so these are just the deployments which are not part of github i'm not uploading them you can just create it locally this folder chalice lib is pretty important if you have certain classes that you want to refer like you want to package your models in a way that you have uh, various classes that encapsulates your business functionality and then you want to expose it to app.py and you don't want to write everything in app.py basically you will have to create a folder called chalice lib and uh, expose those files um, like in my case i'm just creating a class called greeting and there is a get greeting which takes the name and gives you hello name now if you look at my app.py primarily i'm importing chalice which is initial thing but then i'm importing this model um greeting model file and importing this class so it is saying chalice lib dot whatever the file name is now if you look at the route this was the basic route i just enhanced it to show you explicitly that the method is going to be get so the hello world triggers if i provide a name method is going to be get now i am creating an instance this is just for fun not nothing production this is just for demo I'm creating an instance of greetings greeting class and calling the get greeting method by passing name so the response will be message is hello whatever the name is let me deploy this is already deployed but let me deploy in case i have made some changes it is going to look at the changes and if an update is required it will update automatically so it is running in an update mode because it is not recreating the whole package let it update okay the api is updated now now you can see the api gateway url that i got was this is suffixed with the stage called dev so let me i can open it over here it says hello world uh, which is the main route and if i give my name it should give me a different message we have looked at these two this one as well as this one let's see what else we can do we can create a 
table in DynamoDB. Let me show you. Um, what I did was I created a table and it has nothing. It has um, an ID and some attribute like message. Now in this table, if you look at the table detail, you can enable stream. So what I did was I enabled DynamoDB stream on this table. I received this ARN. You copy this ARN and we are looking for old and new images. You copy this ARN and you go to your app.py where you have this event listener primarily saying app.on DynamoDB record change basically or update or insert um, give this stream saying this is the stream that you should be looking at my table name is test table and the stream id is all all of this once you do that and you do a deployment you will see that something like this will be created there is a function that is created just to listen to your stream under the hood what is going to happen thinks that chalice is going to create is it's going to create an api gateway it's going to create a lambda that is there to trigger whenever there is a request coming from api gateway there is a second lambda that is created and if you can look at the name it is saying on getting stream data basically if you look at this on getting stream data is what i gave name for this function so it says what is my application name hello world dev and then on getting stream data so it creates another another lambda that listens to this table now if i go to the table and edit a record hi guys this is a new day and save it you go to table again and you can see export and stream processing was okay because every time there is a new record comes in it checks that the processing was good or there was an exception if you look at this it will show you that the lambda this lambda is the one that is handling your request uh, on any change in the nanomodb table if you look at the configuration if you look at the vpc it is part of your subnet this is the security group these are the subnets that i assigned so it is part of the vpc if you look at the monitor let's go to the cloudwatch logs let it look so it is showing the recent invocation let me go to the logs you can see there are different log groups one for the lambda function one for the stream so this is our stream lambda and you can see this was just executed if i click on this you'll find two messages one was previous before execution one is after so this is the new message this part and this is the old message that's what i am doing in my record so you can see in the event i can have one or more record so i'm looping through each record available under the event and i'm saying give me the new image give me the old image and print both of them so this is the old image this is the new image and uh, this is what i wanted to show before we uh, close this up i'll just uh, do um, chalice delete before doing that let me show you the role that it created this is the hello world dev chalice has automatically created this role and um, you can actually customize and give whatever you want but this is something that chalice created so this is the logs uh, access then you have creation of basically allowing you to access the network and then dynamodb so this allows you to go to the vpc um, 
and this one allows you to subscribe to a stream and read a record okay um so i think we are good with this demo let me delete chalice delete so it is deleting my api gateway it is deleting the lambda that we created for handling a request coming from api gateway it deleted the lambda that was handling the request coming out of the stream um, from the table and it deleted the im role that we created if you look at this if i refresh we have 56 roles it was 57 earlier um, if i refresh this you will have just older lambda functions not the hello world one so only one i believe yep if you look at the api gateway the api gateway is gone there's no endpoint available now the database if i refresh this you'll find that it is stream is enabled but there's no trigger i can disable this once it is disabled i can actually delete the table i don't need the table so i'll just say delete test table is getting deleted and i think okay all good that's all i had to show Thank you for watching. This is the end of the episode. Please like the video, subscribe and press the notification bell icon for future updates. This is your host Bhavish Kumar signing off. Thank you.